Hi, I'm Jacob Beals and this is my show. And welcome to a new segment on the show that I like to call JB Newsroom. It's where I talk about fun, cool, and important news that I want you guys to know about. And the first item on today's agenda, I've always wanted to say that, today's agenda it makes me sound so cool, is Guardians of the Galaxy sequel. And more directly, the title of the Guardians of the Galaxy sequel. Most of you are probably thinking it's probably just called Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2 or Part Dose or just a simple Guardians of the Galaxy 2 or something like that. But actually, no. Marvel broke out the thesaurus for this one and named it Guardians of the Galaxy, get this, Volume 2. How awesome is that? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 will be released on May 5th, 2017. I know it's two years away, but at least it's at the beginning of summer. Let's look on the bright side of things. So on to the next item of today's agenda. I love saying that, agenda. We stay kind of on the topic of Guardians of the Galaxy, sort of, but we merge to the right a little bit and talk about Chris Pratt, one of the coolest actors around right now. And Chris Pratt has actually been in talks of playing Indiana Jones. Now I know what you're thinking, no one could play Indiana Jones except Harrison Ford. And I used to be of that thinking for a long time too, but after seeing Chris Pratt in Guardians and Jurassic World, I have to say, I think he'd be a pretty worthy person to take on the hat and the whip. And Chris Pratt may not be quite as good as Harrison Ford, maybe he will, it's a pretty tall order, but he might play a different type of Indiana Jones than Harrison Ford. And I'd really like to see that in a movie, something different, take it in a new direction. For example, when they made the James Bond movies and different actors came in to play James Bond, each James Bond actor had a different way of playing James Bond, and that's how it could be with Indiana Jones if the series kept going. And as Indiana Jones is my favorite movie series, I'd honestly love to see the series grow. And it'll be sad to say goodbye to Harrison Ford, but remember, we always have those Indiana Jones movies, no matter what they do to these new ones. They'll always be great, and we'll always be able to go back and rewatch them. And the third and final item on today's agenda, guys, I'm so excited I got to use agenda three times in this episode. Like, seriously, that's so awesome. But anyway, remember the boomerang? Not the Australian toy that kids would throw and it'd come back to them, but the boomerang that kids like me used, the one on TV, the, the lazy kids that stayed inside, that's what I did. That was the type of kid I was. We watched the boomerang channel, and you know, I, I guess it was kind of like a boomerang in a sense that you'd watch it and the vibes from the cartoons would come back into your brain. I don't know. I don't know why it's called Boomerang, but somebody should look that up and leave it in the comments section. But but anyways, it was a really awesome channel that would show classic cartoons like Old Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry and Scooby Doo, and it was really wonderful. Well, it turns out Boomerang is actually producing new cartoons for Looney Tunes and Scooby Doo, and they're bringing them back. And I, I just have I just have high hopes for these cartoons and I have my fingers crossed that they'll still be good because I'm a little worried a lot of times when they bring back an old show you know they don't seem to always capture the magic of the original but I'm hoping that they'll just be able to capture a little bit of that magic and make some good new episodes of both these series because I grew up with Looney Tunes and Scooby-Doo and it would be so awesome to see some new episodes uh, uh, that were really good new episodes you know because th they've tried to bring these shows back in the past and reboot them and stuff and they never have been as good but maybe just maybe, I don't know, after reading about this, I just have a good feeling about it. I don't know why, but we'll see. So this is the first episode of the JB Newsroom. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this one. It's a little different for me, you know, because I'm talking about some recent topics and I, that's what I want to do with this show, you know, talk about recent topics and try to make it as entertaining as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please tell me what you liked about it in the comment section. And I hope you're all having a good day and a good week. I'll be seeing you all later. Bye.